My goddaughter, who lived in Vegas, had been invited through a set of circumstances to a trip with some kids. Um, the Sunshine Kids was the name of the group, I remember. And it was a ski trip, and it's the only trip they did at that time. They were about three years old, maybe, four at the most. And she went to this trip in, in the winter and sent me a video. When she came back from the trip, she was all excited. Oh, she met kids, and it really changed how she was approaching uh, her, her problem, her, her disease. And, and I was excited for her. I was so excited that I took the video and put it on my shelf and never looked at it. That summer, she called. She was in Breckenridge, Colorado, and she wanted me to come up for the day. And I said, I, said, I can't, I, I'm too busy. You know, I had the house on the hill and, the, and I had the boats and the swimming pool and you know, I, had, I had all the stuff. And she said, I really want you to come. I said, sweetheart, I can't, I just can't come. I just, you know, I'm too busy right now. And she said, you are my godfather and I want you here. And I, I won't repeat what I said to her. I said, you're a manipulative little whatever. And I said, uh, her father was in show business, by the way. And I said, uh, I said, okay, I'll, uh, obviously I'll, I'll come. I said, but I'm coming for the day. I'll spend the night and I have to fly out the next day. I said, you realize it's going to cost me $2,500, $3,000 to come up there just for the day. Her exact words, I'll never forget it. She said, whatever. It, it went in and the, where all the trucks normally were was all food. It was like a you know potluck. Everybody had brought food. And then I heard a lot of noise and I went through this door and I, and I took a right and there were 25 kids, at least, with cancer, and they were they were had a water hose fight going with uh, the fire department guys, and they were all in the fire department, you know, out, outfits. And I looked at that. Now I'd seen her in the hospital at Sunrise Hospital in Vegas, uh, but I had never seen 25 kids with cancer. I never never saw that. So. I, I um, went out to my car, my rental car, and I sat there and I, you know, I cried. And uh, about 10 minutes, and then I went back in. And uh, from the fire department, I had to go to, uh, they found a little store. I had to buy underwear and socks because I stayed there the rest of the week. and. Uh, and then when I got back, uh, and that's where I got to know Rhoda, and when I got back to LA, I tore my television area apart looking for that tape <laughs> that had been sitting up there for months that I'd never seen. And I looked at the tape. The next day, that day, I called Rhoda and set up an appointment. The next day I flew to Houston and uh, I sat with her and with, with, with uh, Rich Hooper. And uh, I, I asked for permission to create a trip like the Winter Games I'd seen on the tape in California. I said, we, I explained to Roe, we can't do the same. It's not the same physical challenge as skiing. But to me, from the beginning, what, what I was so drawn to was, were the kids being together. It was, it was what, what happened to them as a group, that's what fascinated me, was the group, seeing those 25 kids doing a common event. After I had my emotional moment, then I couldn't get these visuals out of my face. head. I said, I can do this. I, I, I can have that same experience at a studio. I can put 25 kids in the world I know, you know. And since then, my relationship with Rhoda has always been my job as a volunteer has always been expansion. 